All right, welcome into Operation Sleeping Serpents Part One. We're uh, we're bringing it back with the old uh, classic Operation series, Sleeping Serpents. It's like six or seven of these things. I don't know. I feel like it's been a year or two since we've last played any of these. At least a year. Or we played them last year. I don't know. Maybe this was like like the spring campaign series, if I recall. Um, but anywho. We're doing this now. So we're, let's take a look and see what exactly we've got going on here for Sleeping Serpents. Part 1, Russia versus British. So Russia are going to be operating on the west side. We're going to start on the west side of the uh, the AO here on Gordok. Brits are operating in one of the blue tiles you see in front of you. Uh, Hotel 10, Juliet 5, India 6, India 10, Golf 12. That's where their FOB positions are going to be. They're going to be defending there. Um, the idea is that British are going to hold out against all Russian aggression. The Russians are going to aggress. Pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of a dice roll element for allowing uh, Russia to get additional advantages that British won't have. Um, ranging from uh Starting position changes, ranging from additional vehicles, being able to cross the river. Uh, at this point, the only vehicle, by default, the only vehicle that can cross the river for Russia is going to be the BTR that they get issued. Um, the BTR-80, which is their initial infantry support. That's the only vehicle that can cross the river. The um, dice roll could give them additional vehicles that can. They can also give them uh, a... Uh, what do you call it? An assertion behind British lines. Lima 8 or Lima 12. Uh, those are those two other flags that you see on your right-hand side there on the map. There's also a sixth dice roll uh, option uh, that's secret, which we don't know what it is. I think... I want to say in the past that options like this have been, uh, do you have a helicopter pilot? Do you just want to use the helicopter? Uh, also, uh, I want to say that could be crazy in direct fire, like a barrage. Because to be honest, if I had access to artillery barrage, map, map would be super easy. Uh, super easy. Yeah, all Russian flags on the map. Uh, the the western flag just represents where Russia starts. Eastern flags represent the potential uh, insert points for Russian forces if they get it. It's a random chance for them. The blue uh, grids are the potential uh, British holdout positions. British get to choose where they defend, Russians will know where the British base is. And the only other limitation for Russia, I believe, is that they have to start 600 meters west of the river line. So there is gonna be a little bit of a run up to contact. Obviously, they also have to cross the bridge or cross the, cross the bridges, cross, cross the, uh, the river. Uh, Russian mobility restrictions. Vehicles may not use bridges or cross water unless otherwise stated in special event or advantage rules. If they're allowed to use bridges, they may only use the radio and train bridges. So that's actually pretty big. Infantry can cross water on foot, though. So basically, infantry, one squad crosses to defend or to hold the bridgehead. River, uh, built, you know, vehicle goes across. Very, very straightforward. 
Uh, we have a British position, actually. Already on the map here. Looks like it's going to be Julia 5. Kind of strong. Either that or that's just where they are. And they intend to go to another point. Hi. All right. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to Operation Sleeping Serpents. Today, we have a bit of a road trip to go on. We believe that the British have set up a fob on the east side of the, Gor of the river through Gordok. They're set up, as far as we know, in Juliet 5 and probably have quite a few defenses. Our job is to clear them out. So here is what we're going to do. We are going to have Stretch in his BTR, providing fire support for everybody. Meanwhile, we will have three infantry squads on the north-hand side. Guido's BTR squad will remain mobile and try to cover the northern squads as they come in behind the enemy and Juliet 5 and advance their way through. You can see the helmet marks. That's where they'll end up. Meanwhile, on the west side, we will have Stretch's BTR, again, providing cover. He's going to stay there. He's going to keep them pinned down, keep their attention, alongside Raggy's BTR and infantry squad. Raggy's BTR is going to be providing fire support initially, and then once they get the go-ahead and we're starting to feel like it's okay for them to move, they're going to come across the river like so, and come in right on top of the enemy, using some of that mobile infantry capability to maneuver around the enemy. Um, as for your ROE, I will let your squad leaders set that. If you guys are up on the north, I would prefer you guys hold fire unless you're already being shot at. As for the guys on the west, just unleash everything you have. Make them think about you. Make them keep their heads down. Make them think that our whole platoon is there. All right? Any questions? What happens if we find a bug today with this initial release? If you find a bug, you go to Ops Bugs in the Discord, and you tell me all about it so we can fix it. All right. Maybe. Any other questions, guys? Perfect. Break them out. Oh. Generally positive things happening. We're going to fly over here to the Russians. See what they're getting up to. Yeah. And we are live with round one. All right, we're live. Let's start rolling. And here we go. Russians moving out. BTR is charging the way. Russia with three BTR 80s. Pretty strong forward force. And I'm not sure how much ammo that tow takes, but I'm pretty sure it's got multiple shots. Three, four, that's command. Uh, let's take a look at tow position real quick. Four copies. Eight, just make sure Cause it's like right on the ground. It's, it's over here. Uh, you know. right. Oh, yeah, I think this is it right here. So from this position, they can undig the, uh, or they can dig down the sandbags right in front here. And uh, they can obviously shoot with it, so. Three squads going out. I thought it was just these one and two guys. So, okay. Russia's not crossed the river yet, but they are in the river's edge. Uh, three squads pushing out from objective, which leaves two squads to defend. And of course, R uh, British are um, going to use these buildings as the big cover. Command, be advised. I'm not going up the hill. The Lots of mines here. That we won't be able to see very far. Effective view is roughly 300 meters. So Brits get AT mines. That's fine by me.
As a matter of fact, BTRs are actually uh, in the position where I thought they would get fired from. Of course, I didn't expect the uh, toe to be built behind a wall. So... There's one of those things. Of course, there's a bit of fog on the layer, so... Uh, admin, we have a bird kit. Um, can we respawn a uh, salt police? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. And the Russians have crossed the river. across the river the British uh, not in a posture to respond to that right now man do you want us to continue we want to wait first you uh, guys are clear to continue copy yeah I want you guys supporting five two this I thought I saw the front to make front 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 south but I'm not certain five copy alright five I got contest on the penis until you I-5-4 <laughs> Tell me where you want me, boss Of course we've lost contact uh, with the Brits down here because we're too far away a bit more to our right and the trees are blocking Unless you can find a way to get into those trees Into those trees? I can get into those trees Town is more to the left, we gotta keep going Look at that upball squad out up front Pretty sure that's upballs, yeah. guys Yeah Close within about 700 meters now of course, now that uh, now that uh, Alpha's up on this hill, you never know. Let's see here. Da -da -da. Rolls. Did I hear a shot? No, I'm just hearing my uh, headset settling on my freaking head. Um. So I got a fire team in a defensive position here. Not close to within about 600 meters. I wonder if uh, these two see the BTR. Five is command. Actually, you know what's really funny? I want you to just these settings in the general direction of, uh, to the are the same. Just give them something to think about for right But now. all my other settings got reset. Why are these settings still the same? Bro. Oh, it looks like some damage has been taken here. These kind of to yourself, these probably moved out the exterior some fire than the I don't see anymore. Might be on the east side of that peninsula. Copy all. Raggy is thinking there's a squad behind. And oh yeah, there is. Meanwhile, someone started shooting. I think the lawn darts and uh, lawn darts driving with Sharpie. Forward five in terms of five meters or oh, stop, God. back five, etc. So you can see targets. All of my graphic settings got reset with the V2 Anything patch. Like but... a just, just take it out immediately. If, even if you, yeah, yeah, you know, it might be a rock. <laughs> shoot, shoot it. Yeah, I don't see nothing yet. So Sharpie had eyes on something. Uh, no casualties yet. I command, uh, two is gonna start moving south and southeast across the river. No contest or east. All right, here we go. So two is gonna move straight into Sven squad. Right, he's gonna move his guys straight into Sven squad. <clears throat> and could be bad. Sven's got Blackbeard and this is Bartok. Who's this other guy? Hovis. Okay. Uh, Blackbeard and Hovis are taking a look see here. And they could get a. Um... 
They could get a chance at this uh, BTR because the BTR is going to have to use a bridge. And Sven knows this, which is why he's kept his, which is why he's kept his guaranteed kill basically, <laughs> basically straight up the bridge. Nobody's skylining. Um, probably all sitting to that east side right now. But Blackbeard and Hovis are going to cross the river. So Brits have no. They're not going to cross the river. They're sitting. The river, I want you to cut straight northeast. Try to get around maybe Juliet six six six. You know, somewhere around to their southeast where they don't have cover. Let's see what you can do to get them pushed up on that hill. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Russians have three squads across the river to north now. Two's going to come on down here and get kind of smashed in. They could lose their BTR, which would be bad. Of course, there's also a squad in the middle, and they are moving through. They have the best BTR positioning to cover if there were more, you know, infantry up here. British, but there's not. So it's kind of a mixed bag here. The Russians looks like they're going to approach from the... Largely make their approach from the northeast. They just have to swing out a little bit more to make it worth. Uh, Blackbeard and Hovis, however, looks like they are going to go ahead and make their way across. I guess they're setting up for a bridge attack. Uh, Raggy's infantry is now on foot and they're moving down the hill. It's Shred Turtle here of FTL leading the Russians across down here in the south. And some covering fire. Meanwhile, Russia, Russia's fifth squad here. Got another buddy. Uh, did I just run over them? No, I didn't. They're over here. All right, my squad's gonna begin a uh, tentative push into the town. See what we can find. Here we go. We're gonna go up to the northeast here in a second. Watch squad one push it on in. Inquisition and. In, in. This is gonna be a long dash, okay? Roger, covering. I'll sit over on the side. Uh, this is like a, push on a contest to my southwest. Our side of Get closer the to the fucking river, though. Roger. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Racky hit the... Uh... Nope, because he's got to use the bridge. No, I'm still to my uh, west here. Copy, two, I want you to hold that position. Five, that's my clear. Ooh, Inquisition, first to die. Wait, did he say contacts to my east? Oh lord, what is this? The squad that went all the way to the southwest has uh, come back up and oh, this is a cluster for the Russians attacking. Blaze Assault may have, may be able to uh, stop Seabass's attack from going on in. One, I just killed someone southwest. Copy. Well, uh, you might have thought you did, but I don't think you did. British uh, Squad 5 here makes it into the town here, and uh, Russians have marked this position with red smoke. Two, this is command. So, sea bass, what you gonna do, bud? Uh, go for two. Two, I want to attempt a breakthrough. Push through the enemy assault southbound. Cut across. <laughs> Where are you oh no. Wait. Are they close? That was a squad uh, lead. Over there. Just a little yeah, bit to the left. That's Russians have TK their own squad lead. This is Jericho. Red building? I think it was, I think it was just a fire team, yeah. Yeah, but those are. Okay. Oh no. Well, I mean, that's a moral victory right there for Brits in the, in the northeast. 134, you guys are very bunched up. Try to, uh, spread out a little BTR bit kills no, no, Squad 3 no, no. SL and uh, 
And as you can see, the BTR was basically is basically pointed directly at Russian forces right now. Um, Seabass has got his guys in this. Uh, oh, look at this! Seabass is dead. Ballistic Rims is dead. They get shot through the. They got shot through the building. Oh, they were outside of it. So Toast is now hiding inside the structure. Cardboard far enough away to get himself out of there. Uh, British Five. Oh, British Five. I don't think they have a lat. Their lat is dead. Their lat is on the ground. Is someone in there? Reloading. Right in front, right in front, right in front, right in front, right in front. Black boy hits a grenade. BTR is looking for toast and then puts a bullet into toast. Cardboard ends up dying. And Toast finally takes a bullet there at the very end. More British uh KIA here. Let's guess <laughs> what's the kind of name is Skek. He's really close to Kuzmo. I don't think Kuzmo knows, uh... Oh, well, Skek did fire just then. He's got a mini-me. And meanwhile, British forces... Oddball's gonna pull back another 200 meters. And Skek, uh, falls down. I think Ishmi got himself a kill there. I mean, it was a good idea. It was effective enough, and you got a result. The result was uh, Russia TK'd their SL. So that's uh, that's a good thing. Oh, Lord. Good Lord. No. Okay, so I guess the BTRs can cross the water as part of the rules here. Because that's exactly what's happened. Russ 2 finally on the eastern side of the river. Of course, uh, Blackbeard and Hovis were hoping to hunt that BTR down. It's going to be a little wild for them. Uh, I think Frost saw that happen. Or there may be a general. There may be a general call for defense here. I wonder if Silent has the idea that the, uh, the rescues have multiple squads up here. Um... Squad 5 withdrawing from this middle peninsula, going to wrap around north and pro probably try to reinforce this uh, northeast to southwest attack, north east to west attack. Squad 2 by themselves and their BTR is now across the river. And BTR is leading the way. Uh, units to watch out for for this guy include Frost. Looks like their objective is here, so infantry are moving to India 716. BTR is trying to go up the hill. So BTR is going to be running straight towards Frost here. Frost with a little, with a heavy anti-tank. Definitely capable of one-shotting this vehicle. Yeah, it is. It's ridiculous. A little bit of a cooling point in the north. Right, right now, Russia have nine kills to British is two. Very, very careful approach here by Alpha, suggesting three and four oh, yeah, sort of sweep know. around the south side. <laughs> on the wall. Uh, BTR found someone. What direction are you firing? Yeah, what is he uh, shooting at? Zero, seven, five. It looks like a toe. Roger. I don't think it is, though. It could just be a tree stump. Uh, well, at least this, uh, oh lord, they come up over this hill, they may be in, turn around and cover these guys. they, oh, if they turn, oh, 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 don't turn right, okay, once these guys stop, Frost is going to take a shot at them, 100%. <laughs> What a miss! That was really close though, it was a meter off their uh, right side right there.
There's one life uh, for this for this uh, operation right now, Grim. Um, so Frost nearly hitting the BTR there. Uh, the BTR zigged when it should have uh, zigged when. Uh, sorry, the BTR zigged when Frost thought it would zag. So unfortunate. Of course, Frost is now giving these guys position away. More shots to the northeast. We're gonna look at that in a second. So Raggy's gonna hunt these guys down. They're pretty close. Sam's already hit. And the BTR will definitely be awake and aware to these guys' position on the hilltop right there. These guys just gonna ineb inevitably stay here. Come in, gonna clear yeah, Grim. So this is a one life event. Uh, uh, the operation is Russian blue attacking British in red. British defending the radio position Hyon to the end uh, at this point Russia still have all three of their BTRs operational and they had the lead 12 kills to 4 13 now that is a uh, Optimistic range to engage suppression fire from. I mean, I guess you know what's going on. They've called this out, I think. You watching? Nightmare and Toasty. Toasty the Hat here is trying to. I guess they were trying to bait the BTR out into a shot, or they were just here just to play the uh, play the open field to get a clear chance on the BTR. Uh, Alpha has got his guys moving directly in with a little help from their friends north side of the uh, peninsula, north side of the river here. Cap. I'm uh, loading. Hey, where do you see him? The, ha uh, the uh, Sorry, the tow hasn't really come into play yet Joker. for British. Where did you see of course, the Brits also have um, ammo. So, oh, as I say that, silent hopping into the tow. Two, two, seven. Are you still taking contacts yourself? And silent here. Looking for things to shoot, and he's gonna have probably the best magnification, the best optics of anyone in the server right now. Uh, let's see here. I guess the closest BTR to him is Honor's BTR here, and it's moving. It's gonna be kind of hard to see through the fog and through the trees here. I'm stage up. We got eyes on enemy positions that are to our west. They look like they're in the southwest corner. Of course, they also have to watch out for these mines. There's three mines randomly in the forest here. One along the road, which people may just... Or some folks may just completely forget about this mine existing. And see if there's any contacts there. So I don't want to get hit my It's somewhere right in front. Oh, there it is, I think. No, oh, I lied. Uh, it's to my right here. They should have a red cap visible so to be honest with you i should be able to see it from here it's on my left did they take the mine all the way down because it's not legal oh there it is so it's the cap for the mine we're being out in kilo 541 repeat kilo 541 kilo 541 copy that Alright, so they found Xcron in company, hiding in the woods, Russia taking some casualties. Meanwhile, Toasty's dead as he tries to crawl out of the field. Nightmare just by himself now, and uh, BTR now turning its attention towards the forest. This position right here is what just was called out over command comms. And of course... Brits are all prone, using their bipod. I command this Getting kills at ridiculous ranges. One, this is command. Can't confirm. Well, the fire team says that Julia 428. K 
can confirm. It's big old Texas size 10 4 there. Sorry, I, I don't know. I need to open my Letter Kenny book of, or Letter, Letter Kenny glossary of references. Kilroy is kind of uh, getting suppressed here, but he's making progress and pushing forward. Raggy just bypasses. So I guess he doesn't clear out the folks up here because, uh, is it, uh, Frost is still alive. It's gonna allow the rest of these guys to reconnect back to their fob and join the main defense pretty, pretty, pretty easily. BTR is pushing out ahead here and squad one is falling back. That's weird. Brit one is moving out pretty strong here. Ooh, they're moving past the PTR. Squad 2 is turning north directly towards. They're in, in a, uh... They're in a pursuit right now. Roger, Roger, yeah, I've got this, uh, this command. Command. just now back, just in case. Brits are kind of in a bad position right now. Do you know how close? Are we hitting this town here? Uh, coordinate with four on that. Oh wait, they're really close. Oh, and they just ran straight through. They're in buildings. What? Revy's got his guys garrisoning this little uh, hamlet right here. Ooh, not Three, good. Four, this is command. Chicken, does chicken nuggets see these guys? Oh yeah, yeah. Two is going to be engaging those contacts wait, that are currently engaging you. What I want you to do is swing. Oh, like Claw Dog doesn't see the guys close, but he does see. Uh, Spence guys in the distance, you saw them skyline. They see us, they see us. And... I think your nightmare took a shot. No, he didn't. Now they're firing over the village at Spence guys. That's their MG. I'm hit, I'm hit. Five, are you in a position to push that town or negative on that? Here comes the PTR. Uh, you never know. Frost might get a chance here. There's no other lats that I can see. Smoke oh, out. Oh, there's one here in the building. Oh, someone just got ripped. The straight turtle. All right, meanwhile, in the north here, we got some movement. Looks like five's gonna run across the river here, and one just bounced off the British line in the forest. They're backing up, actually. Five, seven, wait one. Give time for uh, me to shift my BTR to support. Also, all elements be advised, the no is being just called out near that town in uh, or the building at Juliet 588. Please leave that like in the radio location. Juliet 588. Okay, so it looks like they got the radio position and they suspect it's by the building, so I think they mean Juliet 588, the, the farmhouse there. Which you never know, might not be good. Uh, there is a mine on this road, another 100 meters up. So it's around the bend. Also, five, tell me they're close across. It's not. I told him three times and he didn't listen. Other oh no. BTR just got hit. Legar and Decorum are gonna blow up. Oh boy. It's taking some damage too. I'm pretty sure it's lost uh, wheel. Maybe wheel damage? No, maybe it's not. I'm kind of surprised if I have just survived here. Uh, Rebel is gonna die though. And he's commanding. Rubba commanding is gonna have a problem here. Lost a medic on their north side. Looks like they cleared the hill. Sabres just took a just took a shot in the leg. Hey. 
on we're across but we're not oh hey look uh guess who's still on their own by themselves way far south it's blackbeard and hovis I'm throwing a frag. frag out frag out frag out yeah command's throwing a frag is it good a for nope it bounced off wall actually it never got there Russia still has a decent lead here, but uh, British have been clawing it back. 16 to 11 in the kill column for Russia. And one of the results of all this looks like... Oh, hold on. I think Silent might think he has a shot here. A rocket comes in on the BTR and it misses. I think they got a call out on the BTR's location, plus now they hear it firing. Silent is looking for it to try to take a shot at this thing. Yeah, I think he's gonna. I think he fancies a shot at the BTR. He knows it's through the tree, so he's waiting to get. He's waiting for it to come around the bend. He takes a shot at it. Oh, he actually just wastes a uh, rocket directly on a man of here. Gets deleted by a toe. <laughs> Womp womp. Three squads against Revy in the south. Revy's still holding this village, and looks like the Russians are just turning north and just ignoring them. Which, uh, it could bite them, and the, it could, uh, you know, it could cause problems. Oh, uh, there's a problem. I wonder. I wonder what happened. There's no one up there to for them to get shot, so clearly they uh, they flipped the uh, BTR, I guess. I don't know. Let's go see what they did. I'm confused. I must have missed that communication. Uh, things happened though. The BTR exists. So command is down. It was dressy. Oh. They can only have two operate on the other side. Oh, that was dumb. That was that, I think. Be advised, command's down, as well as two IC. I'll just tentatively take uh, control. Dakram, can you start moving south to help us out? Uh, All right, so right here. massive uh, loss of organization here for the Brits. Yeah. Who's on me? Someone get on me. Oh, sorry, not for the Brits, for the Russians. Silent's still sitting here looking for people to shoot with his toe, I guess. Uh... All right, Lib. That's the toe shooting. I go around this corner. I go around this corner. To my left. I'm Wait, moving. what? I'm moving. I'm moving. Go and pull into this fucking area. All right. This is clear. This is clear. All right. Yeah. BTR just rolling through here and clearing. Uh, more Russian. Okay, so there is some. Uh, I'm watching Ridiculousness going on here in the south. They uh, they ran straight into it. They're pushing into Revy's village here. And I think the British want to fall back a little bit. Russians have a bit of elevation. Nightmare is still... Uh, Got his AR, or sorry, his uh, MMG up here. So he don't care. He's just gonna laser beam anyone he can see. And ooh, William is running over here with Buff Bandit. What? Been a hot minute since I've seen Buff Bandit. Close. FPD 
Clears out One nightmare. I got tagged. And I think William is getting friendly fired. William's getting friendly fired right now. He needs to get out of this building. He's still getting friendly fired by, uh... Let's see, he's getting friendly fired by... I guess it's his own squad? No, it's squad 3. Here's when he needs to wake up and realize that, uh... Squad 4 is there. <clears throat> and Alpha's stuck here now. He's lost enough people. Can't really do anything with it. He's got a BTR, though, so... It's still a pretty strong position for him. Smokes... Oh shit, he's hooking again. Where is he at, BTR? Uh, wet. Uh, uh, house with the tractor in front. Three yeah, he's, he's in front in the building. Alright, where- like I close? want you guys setting up- a BTR, yeah, I want you yeah, setting yeah. up on the south side of this town. BTR, get eyes out to the south, first. And then you'll shift around and get eyes out to the west. Copy, copy. Watch out, man. Someone left. Oh, uh, still on the toe, just shooting things now. Let's see, the toe is right here. And maybe it's just some RPGs, uh, some rocket, uh... GL, GL's coming out here. Smoke coming from our west, evidently. Man, look at that wheel spin. Peace. All right, so the PTR <clears throat> slowly working towards putting itself into the the toes way here. Meanwhile, closer BTR is potentially going there. Uh, British have made it even now, so we're just gonna we're just gonna hold it right here. Silent has a lot of targets potentially. Uh, uh, he sees the turret. Does the turret see him? Oh, death is turning towards. I don't think. I don't think he can shoot over the wall. He is engaging other targets. The BTR is engaging over the over. The, oh, and a shot. The BTR. Lima Bean looking for another chance here. Silent takes a shot, but it doesn't clear the wall. So now he's got to reload. BTR has been hit already by law. So... He's gonna back up. See what happened. We're at a 60%. Lima Bean is just gonna realize, oh, there's a BTR. Oh. Ooh, Xcron got snacked. Last man. Got smacked. Yep, just be sporadic with it. And apparently, uh, Death by Saga doesn't believe in the, uh, coax. There is a lot of movement going on here. Let's see if we can break it down. British must have called an Alamo because everyone's falling back to the original uh, position is that, uh, is on that the hillside here. Your, your back blast real quick. And uh, yeah, clear. I'm gonna oh, a frag grenade, frag grenade. Oh, frag grenade, Go. okay. Frag out. Yeah. Pressed. Uh, not sure if dead. Uh, I think not silent dead. I can't tell. No, he's still up. The toe is still here, though, and there are people crossing the road now. Oh, this is bad. I can't get shot. I love you. I love you, too. Grab the window. Grab the window. Holy fuck. All right. 
Oh shit, eyes on sandbags southeast. Pilna is actually outside. Help with jumping the wall. Phil doesn't know. Dead. Bill was set up for a nice rear shot on the BTR, assuming it came in front of him. <laughs> what is that? Are they getting friendly fired now? Alright, don't get your take point. Oh. Londards is still yeah. rattling over here. He's just put his guy he's just put himself directly into the fob area. I don't think he realizes the radio is close. Yeah, there he, is. Is he just peaked. He's in. Right. Magidai is the Sasa over there on his right side, where the PTR is now dismantling fortifications. They're even taking a rocket shots as well. Looks like, uh... Honor's BTR did take some. They found the toe. They must have found the toe. We're gonna go to the other hole. It looks like they took another shot though. They've taken some damage. I don't think they had the same data damage state they had before. Oh, here we go. And landing got the drop on him. Toe coming out, and there it goes. What? There goes lawn darts. <laughs> it's dominoes for Russia. I'm dead. It's not I'm taking fire. One BTR door. falls. The second one yeah, as well. And with no more crewmen for this, uh, for this North BTR, no, Russia really can't feasibly go back up there and get it. So, uh, 32. It's still in Russia's favor right now. 33 to 32. Uh, sh I'm hiding. They're just suppressing the north. Hey, they're coming up behind. Wait. Okay, that's just a camera. I'm like, did Fredder make it over there by himself? What in the world? Uh, okay, so we are looking at. Yeah, they're still looking at. Russia now just slowly advancing towards the original fob position. It's just Imanaz. Redibus goes down. It's Imanaz and uh, Atomic here. They're the only two people holding out. Kuzma gets naded. What a throw by Imanaz. Imanaz and Atomic, if they go down, it's just a hop over to the actual FOP location for Russia. Oh, and they are pushing them. Hey, do you have eyes Massive out? smoke. And here they come. Getting, there's the guy they're, moving. Uh, he's they're getting pushed. Farms up. Hey, close, close. West side. Silent goes down. There's the command. Shot gets blown up. And uh, this almost TK is going on. Uh, Twisty, can he see Alpha? Yeah, he sees Alpha's gun. No, he doesn't. Alpha runs outside. Even I is still holding the hill over there. It's gone pear shaped for Russia. Twisty. Are you guys really just TK? What a nice, double nice. TK. Nice. Uh, and then nice kill by Lima there. Pretty sure that's the. It's the hey, point of the. I don't know. Is that a. Roger. Uh, two and squad four are alive. Copy that. I got an enemy counterattack uh, on my position. Radio. On answering radio. command comms. Doesn't. I don't. Is he an FTO? Trying to pick him off. Yeah, yeah to, I yeah, would say go to one. Exactly I guess he doesn't know he's not supposed to be talking. <laughs> Buff's old school though. He comes from the old school days. On the north side of this building. I chased him towards the east. He's actually really got a great position here. Uh, Twisty and Sven both bandage. Alpha's gonna. Alpha gets one. Pistol. Gets Sven. But Alpha got hit again. He's gonna go down. So Alpha goes down, but he gets two. Uh, it's still Russia's favor right now? 41 kills for Russia, 36 for Brits. Um, it's kind of hard to see what's going on here.
Darth is actually a person. Okay, so Darth and Muff, they're both four. The squad three element is still uh, hanging around. I don't think they have command comps. I don't think anyone has command comps anymore. Uh, no original SLs or FTLs still remain. Is it just Demon Oz alive? I think it's just Demon Oz alive for Brits. And he's holding the fob, or holding the hab. So Russia is still attacking phase here. Brits are still defending the radio. The radio position is here, by the way. Goodness sake, it's after four o'clock. Might take a little bit of an extended uh, break here between rounds. I don't think so. Not really. I might cycle the stream, but I gotta double check something first. And there's the nudge, nudge, nudge. Russia must attack Julia 5v5. So even Austin also knows what he needs to defend now in Russia are reconvening west side. So it's in the sandbox. Is this yellow building clear? Muff the legend. I have no idea. <laughs> Are they gonna they're gonna start clearing building by building? That's bad news, actually. Can you use their toe against them. I don't see why not, man. Go jump on that thing and freaking launch it at those Hescos. Sure. What a maneuver! Okay, Dude, the toe could the toe could actually get a kill here. Uh, if it's is it bendable though? I'm not sure. We don't need to use it. I'm gonna. You guys I'm, got any smokes? I'm gonna you guys uh, yeah, no. Alright, looks like the, he wants to throw smokes to, to, to advance. There's only like four of them? And I'm gonna cover you from, the, Wait. from this position in the building. You're gonna push. Alright. Wait for the smoke. Fuck. 10 seconds. Fuck. I have to say something. Ima. Uh, okay, so he just pushed across. What is he? Uh oh. Even us just holding the back of the hab. Okay, so I think he, yeah. So this is what even us is just trying to. What a throw! Muff just threw that in. It's there. I'll move with you. Wish me, I'm behind you. Keep running, keep running. All right, here we go. Even us, the last one left versus four Russians. Even us takes out Ishmi. And takes out Beware through the wall. Muff comes around the corner. Imanos hears him, reloads, and Muff gets the kill. Two Russians remain, and that's GG for round one. What a way for that to end. Muff, way to get back in the game, my guy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Welcome back, dude. Hell yeah. All right, the rest of you are, the rest of you are dead. You're not supposed to be talking. No, don't break the rules. Okay. All right. Cool. We're going to take a short break, actually. Wait, was I muted that whole time? Oh, no. I wasn't muted that whole time, right? you and Ham, son. I hit the wrong button just then. I hope I wasn't muted that whole time. I'm going to rewatch the tape. Anyway, round two coming up very shortly. Be right back. <laughs> well, there you go. Just making it nice and easy. Uh, silent going to tell everyone that they're all marching in a line very shortly. What the? No, it's is uh, privilege oh, reserved to um, people with blue blood. 
Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, welcome to Sleeping Serpents Part 1, Round 2. Um, nice job last round. Uh, very close round. Um, I mean, I think we're only down by three guys, and we took up both BTRs, which is a feat in itself. So pat yourselves on the back. Um, we did a good job of how many assets with three BTRs that they had. Um, this round's fairly simple. They have a radio somewhere in Gulf 12. It's located on the map with a death mark. Um, we're going to take it out. Fairly simple. We have one BTR with us. We are secret advantage that we are able to spawn behind their line. So we, we are starting here. Um, since the round is going late, last round, the second round, first round was uh, pretty long. Um, we're going to keep this pretty simple. We're just going to platoon line straight west to east. Obviously, with terrain, so if there's open fields and we need to move a little bit north to be hidden, we're going to do that. They will hear us coming because the BTR will be rolling with us. Um, BTR is a pretty much a personnel carrier, so he will not be going in first. He will be following us, so make sure you support him. Um, we'll have his squad watch his rear, um, but pretty much moving in. Um, I think Blackard wanted to call the north. We're going to have Revy. Revy's going to be the only difference of us moving west to east. He's going to go map border on the south and then move along the map border. It's all pretty much trees except for a couple of fields here and there. Um, he will try and attack them from the south and be a nuisance. Um, I do expect them to have some troops somewhere in the 13, um, Echo, 13 Echo, Foxtrot, Delta columns. Um, they will rotate when they hear us. I'm sure they will have guys in the Gulf 11, Gulf 10. So speed is key we need to be moving fast obviously don't run out in the open like idiots but we need to keep moving fast use your buddies you have smokes use your smokes um the longer we delay the more they will be able to pull in all of their perimeter forces because they will know we're coming from here so speed violence aggression you know work with your buddies you know uh, any questions pretty simple plan uh so bummer yes what? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Speed okay, violence aggression. So yeah. It's a dark fan or something. Yeah, we're pretty much bomb rushing, but not dumb. Like, like I said, work with your squad mates, work work with the other squads. We are in a platoon <clears throat> line for the most part, so you have other squads to work with. So if you need help from another squad, yell at them or yell your S SL to have the other squad help them as well. You know, smokes are your key. Use your smokes. If we're pretty much pinned down, you have a smoke, go with the smoke. It's not going to get any better once that smoke dissipates, so just use it. Um, other than that, use what you learned at basic. Question. Yeah. Um, so we're basically moving as a platoon towards H13 or G13? Gulf 13. Gulf 12. Gulf 12. Gulf 12. That, that is the objective. It is on your map. Gulf That's 12, the objective. That is the objective. Yeah. There's a radio somewhere. In I, I would assume. Wasn't paying attention to the everything then. On there or in the field next to that shit i mean they called the pretty much pretty but much be on the, rock, the uh bush just don't silent called it initially with his skull and crossbones pick golf 12 in those sheds most likely yeah he's 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 got it he, he got the and nail on the head or the 13 line no we are making a line north to south and marching west to east okay so we're just making a big platoon line and Marching old school style um, from west to east. Um, I'm sure we'll turn more into a blob as we hit terrain, but. East, yeah, wasn't this supposed west. to be the straightforward east brief east so he can get yeah, to the operation by right now? Simple. Old school squad up, <laughs> platoon line, march it in, uh, together, eliminate them. Uh, one big thing, they do have a toad. This is attack, so defend. We're not using the game mode, we're using the rule set. So it's a one life operation. Once everyone goes to the down position, they, uh, they're, they're in the done position, actually. So. BTR squad infantry, you'll be in the rear of your BTR. Uh, Brits can't build before live, but they, I guess they're putting down, they put down their... Okay, cool. Breaking Everything out. but the ammo box. Squad, squad, squad. Yo, Simon, I have several other questions about a very basic line. <laughs> so, <laughs> Revy somewhere <laughs> south of Lima 12. Uh, oh, hey, look at this. Everyone's starting within fog radius. Very, 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 very nice. 
Should be getting a live signal very soon. Be next to Blackbeard. Uh, hey, it looks like British broke the rules too. Uh, building before live, very cool. This is an interesting line, uh, position for the tow. I guess they forgot to put it on the most high, on the highest point. It's close enough, though. I mean, this is a this is a pretty good position. I guess they were also really anticipating a uh, a Western approach, which is that's actually perfect for. <laughs> but uh, we're live with round two of Sleeping Serpents Part One. We switch sides. Um, if you don't know, we do one side. You know. Uh, both teams get to play either side of the operation. Uh, it's not going to be the same, obviously, because... Dude, I'm not even having my guys have weapons out. They're going to go Assume, once we get to India 12, those compounds in India 12 will probably be occupied with forward observers. Alright, so that's where the jig is... He's going to expect the jig to be up out here. So that's still 600 meters to advance. 600 plus if you consider the north and south. Of course, if uh, Sound Sky's ND anywhere past the Juliet Kilo line, what's well, it at a time? Well, we don't keep score. So, <laughs> uh, we don't keep score. So, there's just, we just play uh, two rounds. God, could you imagine if we kept score? How much lose like rules lawyering would happen? How we move, so. I. Stuck to the line if like three, you need to move a little more south to go around. On top of the fact that operations change like the day before they happen, like we don't have enough notice because this changes because the mod happened. You know, V two released. Oh, we have to rebalance all of our operations. That is one thing I, I am looking forward to with Grinder tonight. Uh, INS apparently got an RPD as part of their ARs. Uh, and I hear it's pretty good. So, uh, I hear it's, I hear it's, I hear it's really nice AR for INS. Uh, so nice that it should be nerfed. However, I don't think it will be. Uh, so Grinder will be more of a grind than ever. Understood. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, who's in charge after you go down? Uh, order. <laughs> Numeric, cool. Top to bottom. Copy. What is command comms right now? Hey, what's that fire coming up from north? I'm hearing big explosions up there. Let's vehicle clean up. We just hit, I think, 15 minutes around or something. No British in India 12, guys. So, so the Russians are going to slow down significantly because they want to get eyes on this farm. The farm and all these structures is going to be a real problem for Russia. They're going to have to go around them. Um, or they could just YOLO and just go straight through. But I don't think they would go straight through the farm. They would cut through... Uh, the woods around the farm to get to the villages here. I'll also come up this side down here. I think there's also a, uh, there's also a hill sort of thing going on here too, right? It's not level terrain, right? There's also a squad on the map border because... Blackbeard, questionable, no, I'm kidding. Of course, Silent reminding his guys to not throw their lives away, and Blackbeard continuing to charge ahead. I guess. Anywho, I hope the uh, stream quality has been good. I turned up the in-game graphics 
to 100% resolution scale. I'm just um, there's that. still some graphical settings I need to tweak here, but we're just gonna roll with it. Um, I have limited the frame rate a little bit, so I think that might be saving my CPU here because everything looks good. Your front torso, so you don't get the numbers look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Copy. Zero drop frames this entire stream of almost two hours now. So I take that. I take that every day of the week. Yeah, zero drop frames for network. Twenty six skipped frame or missed frames due to rendering lag. So twenty six out of fifty five or five hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Zero skip zero skip frames due to encoding. So we're fine. We're fine here. Okay. I'll jinx it if I want to, Skelly. Speaking of jinx, looks like they moved around the farm to the south and two missed it completely. Four, Blackbeard Squad is heading hmm, into the hills. Yeah, we'll just try and bring three a bit closer to two. Oh, down as well. problem. Uh, two's gonna move due southwest as soon as we can. Yeah, let's keep three where he's at and move out you two up to uh, these guys are crest of the hill now. Lemon Sledge is moving in the open. Does Honu see Lemon? Alright, the two buildings here are clear. I think Honu sees. Honu's turned towards. He's strafing. He's looking at these guys. Him and King and see it. The Brits know the jig is up. Northeast my position. 300 meters. Northwest. Are you sure it's not me? Oh my gosh, Sven called friendly contact as... I mean, it's possible. You sure it's not me? I'm looking at your guys. No, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm checking with him. He just called. Well, we'll find out uh, sooner or later if we do. Did Honu see these guys? Honu yeah, has we... to have seen these guys. They ran back. Why would they just run back? These guys are continuing to advance here. Um, and we are seeing west to east movement here. Yeah, the Brits are definitely moving now. Okay. Brits definitely moving. And here we go, Skek is eliminated immediately, and Brits know the jig is up. Here we go. So Skek got, uh... Where's that coming from, Toast? Hey, where's that coming from? Right over that slope of the hill. Yep, that's right. And, uh, Kingen got his guys looking over here. Great job by Brits. And they are gonna withdraw. Meanwhile, in the south, closer to the objective, Two squads breaking through Oddball and Killer J. And contact. Looks like the Brits were got caught out moving into position. Fulcrum's dead already. Yikes, what a shot. Legar also hit there. Grenades coming in. Who's smoke is that? They are us. Yeah, this needs to be a violent action, is what Silent wants, and uh... Russia's have... Russia have stopped. Unaz... Holding line here, trying to get his guys to continue watching everything. Oddball, the rest of this fire team is still looking around, looking for things to shoot. Lots of cover and firing at them. And Brits are moving in, so... Revy is going to leap around, it looks like. Or he's just going to go straight south and north. In which case, he's going to catch Raggy. Salty Toast. Looks like Blackbeard died leading from the front. Yeah, look at him. That's guarantee you that's his dead... Maybe that's not his dead body. Well, uh... Listic gets inside. Uh, I don't like this position here. Still a lot of Brits up front. And shots coming in now. So they're kind of stuck there. Bill puts a rocket out there and nails Stretch. Stretch is dead. 
Sun Black. Kills, three kills for Russia, three kills for Brits. It's nice and even. Inquisition gets tapped to bleeding. Sasa is going to move up to this pretty decent line right here. Rocket a little short there. I think it was aiming at Decrum. Decker, I'm sort of hiding behind that. Actually, that's kind of an amazing miss. He lands right in front of Decker. Next rocket runs right over top of him. <laughs> Probably gave Paladin a little bit of a scare, too. Decker finally gets pinged by a couple bullets there. And he's going to uh, have the bandage. And looks like one has. Pushes out the north, but they're getting hit in the back as they move north, because they've stopped. Yeah, they're definitely getting shot from the uh, southwest here. Let's get online with uh, 40 down here. Lawyer Morty. It's sh headshot. No, Numbskull TK'd him. Point blank. Big Yikes says Numskull just like crawls around him and kills Kill All Dog. Right well, that stinks. Raggy's dead. Looks like Revy killed Raggy. Oh, grenade. Bounces right past Revy. Lucky. I don't think that's distance. Ah, it did, but uh, Polish and uh, Sharpie get out of there. Yeah, aim for our north. Oh, Ro Raggy. No, that's his name. His name is Mr. Raggy. Don't talk to me. Um, Salty Toes, the rest of the squad four, slowly dying up here. Blackbeard has led them into the slaughter. Um, died, and then now his fire team size force, about to be swallowed up by two squads. Big shrug. There's still a tow that has not been manned for fear of being uh, a bullet magnet. Russia's line is still pretty strong here. Not a squad and a half defending the point against uh, about two and a half squads on the Russian line. Oh yeah, where is the BTR? I guess the BTR got popped already. I didn't hear it. Nope, the BTR is down here with squad one. So the BTR went to go relieve Revy because I don't think he was anticipating... I don't think he was anticipating getting shot in the back on his way up. I think plane here was expecting British to generally retreat. So Frost gunning sure. on Twisty, and oh, he's gonna pick everyone up. Alright, so we got a uh, squad. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, there's a mine straight north of them. How funny would it be if they hit that mine? Yeah, those guys who were on our west, take like us up the command. Take us up to five. Go fast. Revy, you just call all that. Oh no. Let me get back in, let me get back in. Hey, this is squad four of the new SL. What's the plan? Uh... Where's that mine? Alright, there's the mine right here. Let's see if they dodge it. They were kind of driving this way, and he said drive to five, and this kind of follows the lay of the land. I, uh... I lost the mine. I think they missed... Yep, they missed it. Okay, is it safe to unload here? We're gonna unload here. Yeah, moving right. This is a pretty good point. Uh, 12 kills for Russia, 11 kills Brits. Brits still keeping it uh, in their favor because of the uh, positioning they're in. Russia is starting to get a concave uh, 
formation going on here. Meanwhile, up north, squad for a rip. They're gone. Are they starting to poke in here? Hobocop looks like he's starting to poke in here. Lots of firing. People in auto that are shooting single shots. It's kind of annoying when that happens. They're trying to push through the smoke. They're getting rush are getting really aggressive here. Dentric leading the charge. Looking for people to shoot. I wonder if he's gonna spot Dentric. He's looking that direction. Uh, he definitely knows Tonka's shot is up there. Rocket goes out and hard to tell where that went. Russians are kind of spread thing. They need squad five to get up here now. What are they doing? Oh no. Grenade almost kills Alpha. More grenades come through. We're fighting a rock to rock here. I think Alpha died. Usagi's dead. Mm -hmm. Russians moving rock to rock. Hovis got Fisco over the next bend here. I think he saw him. Hovis puts a bullet into Fisco, but I think it's... I don't know, Fisco thinks he's shooting at Hovis, but it was not. Yeah, I'm gonna push left side. It's a bit overthrown, but... Okay. It's a bit overthrown, and... Lightning kills Fisco. What's the server called? It's called Password Protected Private Event. <laughs> Need basic in order to join the One Life Operation. Centric runs in here! And he's got the toe, he's got the radio. He kills Choker Hunter. Don't get shot, is also Dentric. Frickin' what a mad lad. Now, here's hoping Thrasher doesn't uh, TK him. And oh, so the Russians have the objective. Mission accomplished for Russia as they start digging down the radio. British defenses just fold, and they still have a lot of numbers though. 16 kills for Brits. The only 19 for Russia. Concave formation. Couldn't uh, hold up. Yeah, you can't join the operation unless you have basic. Uh, speaking of basic, I think we have a basic scheduled for today. So check calendar. It's going up to GG slash calendar for when the next basic is. Russia should be defending after they dig the uh, radio down. Russia is attacking right now. Hotball gets pinged here as uh, running away. Kind of surprised he's still alive. He's getting chased by an entire squad here. Uh, British command still up. Haraba is still is watching uh, is watching his team lose the objective. He's not watching anymore. He's dead. This is good for me. So now Russia going to be defending the position as the Brits move through the fields. Look at this. This is actually a really insane place to approach from. They can sprint straight through that field, go through all of the crops. And get to within like a hundred meters of the hill, but it's just running up here. These guys have no idea he's this close. Nice. You got a grenade? No, you don't. How many kills is he gonna get here? He drops the what is this? Etienne <laughs> did see him. Etienne, hook goes one, two, three. They punched up here. Big shrug. Rasher shoots hood in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and William gets cut down in the field. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. Who just ran straight through the field. I guarantee you he wasn't listening to what he was supposed to be doing. <laughs> 
That was incredible. Okay, <laughs> you just run straight up to the hill. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Russia on 26, British on 21. Still squad south, getting organized. About a fire team size force though, so it's not going to be Loading. of much consequence if they completely. Yeah, one of the real quick. Blue building second. Get him down, whatever. Medic view down. All right, so the Br British are trying to maneuver. Oh my gosh. Uh, BTR and the AR catch Cusco and the other guy. Big yikes. Dwarf is here by himself. Is he going to take a shot on the BTR? He's got hat. I don't think he sees it through the tree. He knows it's over in that direction. It's going to be a difficult shot to hit from here anyway. He's got to shoot it through the tree. I don't think the BTR is going to go anywhere. Meanwhile, uh... Fritz and Fritz being shredded from behind. Hey. Yeah, blue building, blue building. Uh, Fritz in front though, providing significant resistance. I think BTR just sniped beware through the building penetration. And Dorf is dead too, so there goes their hat, so I don't think the Brits have a real answer to the, uh, to the armor at this point. And I think the Brits are down to like six, eh, maybe nine up here north of the objective. Wait, Dorf is still up. Wait, what? Dorf is literally on one HP. Look how red his bar is. His health bar is so red. So here comes Oddball, it's coming to sweep the rest of Squad 5 down here. It's gonna happen. Matter of fact, it has happened. They're dead. Check contact south, check contact south. I want you to face him south. Uh oh, Russia losing, or Russia taking a lot of their attention away from the north here. Oh, it's still got guys on this hill. Dorf is still, it's Dorf is still alive here and just laying. He's maneuvering. I wonder if the AR can see him. If Dorf keeps moving, I think Nightmare has a chance to get spotted. Nightmare has a chance to spot him here. Still two or three contacts from Sandbags North. I'm all listening to some easy listening music right now. Uh, this say bunch of smokes happening here and it's gonna let Uptown and Anu and Kilroy McCoy get away. Dorf's still taking pot shots every once in a while. Can get the BTR up here, face north. Wonder who's shooting at. I think this must be a distraction. Nightmare could definitely end them right now. Maybe Dorf was shooting a nightmare. There is an element that uh, was in the village due northeast. Two, um, two, stay on the south, please. Watch our south. We got, everyone else can watch north. Roger, understood. Everyone else can watch north. Pushing north into the village. Good copy. Hmm. What's up, guys? We're on the radio. Let's watch north. There is a British element circling around right side. Frederick's leading the guys over there. Uh, Dorf is still alive with this hat, I think. So seven British remain. They're trying to circle the outside here. And Dorf finally goes down. So I think that's it. No, nope. Hanu is a lot. Might have a chance to take out the uh, BTR, but not anymore. Uptown getting suppressed in the building behind there. Hanu and Kilroy have to find harder covers so they can at least try to stand up and fight here.
crashers almost killed Zaki at least like seven times now. How many Russians? Up, down, eats a frag rocket through the window. What a shot. Uh, how many Russians remain? Too many. I'm saying two squads. Get to the medic. Atomic has no bandages. And Decrim and Ligar, Ligar have Vodball's number. And Brits have been informed. The only way out is in. Kilroy, I guess Hun is dead. Kilroy is still maneuvering outside in the north here. He's getting, he's literally getting chased down by a squad of infantry <laughs> on either side. Thrasher's dead, but uh, Kilroy. Everyone is here for this one man. Sasa up on the hillside though may have, I don't know. There's like three people shooting Kilroy right there. It's kind of bad. BTR actually came down and uh, took a pot shot at these guys. Legar, Frederick, and Decrim, the last British remain. I think. Is William alive? I don't think so. So, down to three Brits here. Yeah, down to three Brits here. But it's only on 24 kills, so that means there's still a decent hey, two squads, two and a half squads out there. It's kind of rough. Decrum has hat, and he's looking for a shot on this BTR. I don't think he's going to find it. The BTR is stationary, but... Has a has a uh, some concealment right here. I guess Legar is trying to play um, Wild Weasel with it. Imanaz is coming this direction, and Dykram's not ready for it. Uh, Never mind. Uh, Nightmare just perforates Dykram. Uh, so now we're on to Frederick and Legar. On this outside of the road here, it should be done pretty soon. This was fun. This was, this, all things considered, it's a pretty fun around here. Um, when plans work as intended, you know, they're magical. And we've seen that again. Russia's plan was pretty strong. Platoon line crashed straight into the British area, and British didn't really have any idea the Russians were behind them until it's too late. Legar takes a bullet. And there goes the rest of Legar. Completely domed, and Frederick takes a uh, stray round there from MMG. Believe that is game with a large number of rushers remaining. Final score 45 kills for Russia, 24. Just half. Craziness. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I do appreciate you guys coming out to check out what we've been doing here at Squad Ops. Got an operation tonight. Our um, 